There can be no life without order. Good, evil, darkness, light. There must be balance in the universe. Such is the decree of the Charred Council, an ancient body charged by the Creator to preserve the very fabric of existence. But the balance has been broken. Even now, Earth smolders in ruin, fallen to the demon lords, and the Destroyer carves a new kingdom amongst his mighty chosen. Some say the Horsemen War triggered the apocalypse, that he rode to Earth unbidden and doomed all of mankind. But what of the other Horsemen, fearless enforcers of the Council's will? What of fury, strife, and death? To know those names, you must first know another. Nephilim, cursed union of angel and demon. The Nephilim had countless realms to serve and burned them to ash. But four amongst them grew weary of the slaughter and feared their conquest would imperil the balance. And so a truce was made. The four would serve the council in exchange for unimaginable power. Thus were the dreaded horsemen formed. And the riders' first task was to purge their own brethren from creation, to annihilate the Nephilim destroy their souls. Let us now cast our gaze to one amongst the four. Not war, who lies chained at the council's feet, professing his innocence, but one who would save his brother above all else. He has many names. Kinslayer, Executioner, freedom. Death swore that he would resurrect humanity. But he knew not how this might be done. And so death rode forth into the icy veil to find the keeper of secrets. and awaits their judgment for dooming the Earth, for mankind's extinction. Why should I care about your brother's fate? Because you know the truth. Your secrets can save him. <laughs> the Council will condemn war. Strip him of power, let him rot in oblivion to hide the truth. My secrets cannot prove his innocence, horsemen. No, but they can help me to erase the crime. Bring mankind back from extinction. Madness. If it's madness, then who better to show me the way? Should a way exist, you will find it here. The Tree of Life. Let me pass. Not yet. That which you gave me, you will take it back. In exchange for its secrets, you agreed to keep the amulet. No. The voices, they curse and threaten without end. They cry to return. You must destroy it. I cannot. You annihilated their flesh. Why do you guard their souls? Open the portal. You will not pass while I live. So be it.
Here your brethren are trapped in eternal torment. Do you wish to join them? And what of war? Would you kill your brother to save your precious balance? He is innocent. Are you so certain? Be still, horseman. You are wounded. Don't touch me. Your arrival here is a bad omen. Yes. It troubles me greatly. Old one, there's more trouble ahead if you don't start making sense. Where is the Tree of Life? Life? <laughs> this world is dying, lad. Choking on chaos and corruption. We can do little to stop it. Soon, the great tree too shall perish, and with it, the last of my people. Is that not what brought you here, Pale Rider? I seek the tree. Your chaos and corruption don't concern me. You fight well, but this corruption can't be beaten with a blade. Seek out the Forge Sister. Ask her about the fire of the mountain. Help her, and she will help you reach the tree. As for me, I must return to my work. And who are you to command a rider? 
I am a maker, older than even the Chard Council. These hands have laid the foundations for many worlds, but that was long ago, and now they but hardly know the touch of stone. Are you not curious as to why I seek the tree? I would not presume to question one of the four, but yes, tell me. I must restore humanity to redeem war. Heaven and hell battle upon the shattered earth. All creation trembles, and at the center of it all stands your brother. He is innocent. I never said he wasn't. The tree holds power over life and death. If you would resurrect humanity, then you are headed in the right direction. Be warned. A dark presence dwells now within the tree, and the path is barred by corruption. Maker's beard. The rumors are true. A horseman in the Forge Lands. The name's Alia, and that's my brother Valis. We are the keepers of this forge, though I reckon that means less now than once it did. This is a Maker's Forge? Nay, the Maker's Forge is lost to us, silenced by the hands of corruption. But in its depths, we once crafted the dark towers of hell and the cities of heaven. Now you make trinkets. And you, one of the four, now seek the aid of the Makers? I guess we've all fallen from high places. Acania seeking the tree and your elder speaks of fire. What is it? Aye, the fire of the mountain, the Stonefather's blood. It once flowed into our forge, as did the tears. Both imbued our craft with incredible power. The heart and the soul of stone. But corruption has taken them and now our forge is silent. Why does this concern me? The way to the tree is lost, barred by corruption. You can no more leave this place than we. Restore our forge, and the tree can be reached. I don't follow your reasoning. We are makers, not warriors. But we are not without our weapons. Before the forge was lost, we crafted a mighty creature of soul and stone. A colossus to fight this corruption. But to awaken him requires a maker's key. And we need our forge to craft one. Will you help us? What is this cauldron? A temple built in the shadow of Stonefather's Peak. There the fire of the mountain was harnessed and passed into our forge. Ride east of town, ride through the Chard Pass and towards the cindery peak of the Stonefather. There you will find the cauldron. Man of no words, your brother. <laughs> but hardly silent. His voice is the ring of the hammer and the roar of the white flame. Yes, he works while you talk. I may have need of a blade. Is your need greater than ours, horseman? I think not. We fight for the survival of our realm and our kin. Prove worthy, and mayhaps we can do business. We've been awaiting your arrival, horseman. Your shadow has long hovered over this realm. Many know the Reaper, old one. But I don't know you. We are the builders of this world. But corruption seethes at its heart and destroys in days what we shaped over eons. Adar does his best to soothe our pain. But our souls yearn for only one comfort. Death. We are without hope. Horseman, do you ever doubt your future? No. So one like yourself would set out to change a fate that displeases him. That is a long and dangerous path, even for Death himself. How is that your concern, Shaman? Only that I am skilled at crafting talismans. If you gather the proper materials and return them to me, I'll make a potent talisman to aid you on your journey. What do you require? Stalker's bone, mordant dew, and carven stone. It is not a simple charm. Where can I find them? Somewhere in the Forge Lands. I rarely leave Tristone, but that Pup Khan is always out exploring. He can tell you more, no doubt. Tell me, Shaman. What is corruption? I only know what I fear it to be. That corruption is hate given life, and that hate 
does not come from trees or stones, but from ourselves. You despair, old one, and yet raise life from the earth. I am a shaman, bound to this task even as our days darken. We are as the vines, coming to root, then to flower and then to decay, dropping seeds upon the dust, a circle everlasting. I cannot stop it, nor can I stop you. Tell me more about the Tree of Life. The forest around the tree has been corrupted. It hungers. You cannot reach the tree, not with breath still in you. The path of a brother troubles you. It is your past, but also your future. Stone, wood, iron, these are the gifts of the Makers. Horseman, you'll find not that way, but trouble. Do what you must for your kin, old one. For mine, I ride to the cauldron. Well, if you fancy your corruption waist deep, that's as good a place as any. You know, there's a reason this gate is here. And if you were a friend, I wouldn't have let you pass. But then... <laughs> Who is friend to death? Have you wisdom to share, or was it long since knocked loose in battle? Oh, wisdom ain't like teeth. I've plenty left. Enough to stay clear of the cauldron. The ancients filled it with right nasty traps. But one so clever as yourself will surely elude them. <laughs> you should make haste to the temple. Fire alone, save your own. Speak of the forge. Aye. Without the fire and the tears of the mountain, without the forge itself, we have no means to clear the forest and reach the tree of life. What then? Our power is over creation, yours over death and despair. You are Nephilim, lord of destruction. Perhaps in that there is hope. Just how old is the forge? It is as ancient as the realm itself, and perhaps even older. It is said the forge was the first thing we makers built, that in its depths we shaped entire worlds. Greetings, horsemen, and welcome. I've been expecting you. Vulgrim. What brings you crawling out of the shadows? <laughs> I wouldn't want to lose my most valuable customer. Not to what lurks at the edge of shadows. So here I am, to offer my wares. What do you know that I don't? I'm not here by choice, demon. I merely followed the trail of carnage. Your blades are as sharp as ever. Even still, I may be able to help you. I carry things others would frown upon. Another time, demon. Until then, perhaps you'll grant me a small indulgence. There are pages missing from the Book of the Dead. I believe many lie along your path. If you bring them to me, your reward will be substantial. And so will be my damnation. Ha <laughs> ha! The tears be true. A rider has come to the realm. Not another one. You're the Nephilim, the one they call Death. How did you get here? Took a wrong turn. It appears I'm stranded here with the rest of you. If you seek the cauldron, you should know that it fell to corruption fair long ago. I can still feel the fire itself rumbling deep in the earth. I'll take my chances. Your shaman has offered me a talisman if I bring her the materials. You'd be wise to accept then. Her craft is mighty powerful. Where do I find Stalker's bone? You'll find Stalker's prowling the cauldron. Should be simple work if your name is any indication. <laughs> You're different than the others. Less pleasant on the eyes, for one. <laughs> I could say no less for you. Folks around town call me Pup or Lad, but I prefer my own name. Carl. Pup it is, then. As you will. Matters not to me. Why not restore the fire yourself? I came here just for that purpose. Figured I'd pop the cork, so to speak. Be the hero. But the cauldron is locked up well and tight, and the way through is swallowed by fire. 
You look capable enough. Perhaps you can find a way. I'll wait here and guard the entrance. Say, if you're headed in there, do you mind doing something for me? Yes, I mind. Aren't I doing enough already? Perhaps. Though it seems to me you're doing right enough for yourself. Our benefit being a fortunate side effect. Well, if it ain't much trouble, I, I left an old metal platter in there, with the image of two hammers scribed in the center. Not much to look at, but uh, it was my journeyman piece. Last thing I ever forged. A dish? You want me to bring you a dish? Yes. Well, it has sentimental value. If you find it, I'll make it worth your while. a voice! How did you... No, no. Doesn't matter. You have done what we... what I... failed to do. You must take the good news to Alia as soon as you can. I found that dish you wanted. You're a good man. Much more so than your name would imply. <laughs> I'm in your debt. What is Mordant due? Mordant due is the venom those stingers get you with if you let them too close. You'll find him in Drangefort. Walk softly, though. Those things are nasty. <laughs> Horseman! The fire of the mountain flows again. Yes, freed by my hand. And Karn's. Karn? That pup? Well, he hasn't a clue. And yet, the forge burns once more. You know what awaits you, Ryder. To finish this, you must restore the tears. I'm not your errand boy, Maker. Aye, but our fates are now yoked. Help us, and we will help you. In the meantime, take this. It might be of use. I found this pistol. It belongs to my brother, Strife. How came it here? I cannot say, but there are other goods you may barter for now as well. Restore the tears, then return to me. You said there were two things that powered your ford, fire and tears. Yes, fire to wake the earth and tears to calm it. Both gifts of the Stone Father. And fire will not be enough. Nay, we require both. Where might I find the tears of the mountain? To the west, past the fjord and into the drench fort. You will find the tears within. We tried to seal in the corruption, but no good came of it. What can you tell me about the tears of the mountain? The Dirinch Fort lies just beyond this barrier. It was the first thing taken by corruption. We sealed the Stone Father's tears inside, fearing what would happen if they spread. If I do as Alia asks, you'll soon find out. Aye, and the realm will be better for it. Whether pure as rain or black as sin, the tears will end this stalemate. 
It's odd how I often find you standing. Without the Tree of Life Horsemen, I'm trapped here just like you. A fortunate few slipped out before the tree was lost, like Ulthane. And who is Ulthane? He's just another maker. Has a big hammer, is all. When he escaped, I feared to follow. And a good thing, too. And why is that? Well, you might still be looking for the cauldron if not for my courage and wit. If you're really going, don't let me stop you. Exploring's a wondrous thing. You never know what you might find. For instance, should a bit of armor turn up, it's likely some I uh, misplaced some years back. If you can find it, I'll be in your debt. been the journey so far. The cauldron was cold, but the horsemen rekindled its fire, and in the hearts of the makers, an ember of hope was born. Hope for life, and for what lies beneath the earth. It is finished then, at long last. Death, this is a maker's key, and you had best take it now, before I come to my senses. <laughs> you seem more likely to lose them, old one. A problem, aye. But there is also a solution. The Guardian, meant to be our greatest weapon and capable of clearing the forest around the tree. But an earthquake drove us from the foundry, and now, I fear something else roams within. The Guardian was never finished. If the Guardian is your masterwork, how am I to complete him? In the forest lies another construct, one of the few remaining who have not fallen to corruption. He is not as vast as the Guardian, but his heart is strong. Seek him out, and he will guide you to the foundry. There you may activate the Guardian using the Maker's Key. The Constructs are awakened by a key? Aye. Constructs do not have a soul like you or I. Not until that soul is given. This key unlocks the stone and prepares it for the ebb and flow of a Maker's life force. In fact, it will bring to life most any Construct you find in the realm. <laughs> And what makes you think I have a soul, old one? Isn't that what troubles you? How will I know when I've found this construct? Constructs are beings of boulder and stone, animated by a maker's life force. Most possess but a fraction of a soul. Just enough to drive them, and give them purpose. But through others course the whole of a maker's being, his memories and emotions, a story Half remembered, life weighs heavy on us all. Not even stone can bear it. <laughs> if wardens can resist corruption, why not use them to cleanse your realm? Sadly, the wardens were called when the seals were broken. The makers told to be paid at the end war. This warden is all that remains. Hmm. Then the seals were broken. I found your armor. Stone be praised! 
It brings back memories to see it again. What can you tell me about this place? I've been here but the once. The time I tried to tip a construct. A fine sport. Aye, it is. I could but nudge him an inch before my nerves gave out. The whole time, I felt Muria watching me. What of carven stone? That's what we call the Stone of Construct Sentinels, to be specific. Uh, a sad thing destroying what a maker worked so hard to craft. But these days, it must be done. You'll find the Construct Sentinels you need in the Lost Temple. Good luck to you. Horseman, may I beg you another favor? What is it this time, Pap? A compass that guided me to many wonders when I was young. I thought it lost, like the temple. But now that you've found one, the other will follow. Very well, Khan. say that you can reach the Foundry, and that a Guardian lies within. The Foundry, yeah. It is where I was cast, but it was lost. And now, you will need my help. Corruption spreads across your realm, and you slumber. Stone is heavy. It is easier to rest. In my dreams, I can move again. In my dreams, I am flesh. This place, what was it? I cannot tell you. It's on the tip of my tongue, but my tongue seems to be elsewhere. Will you help me, old one? Yes. Shall we? Hold on, little one. In my slumber, I have felt the Guardian reaching to my dreams. He is the strongest of us all, but in his heart, there is a hunger. The Guardian was built to destroy. He has much in common with corruption. You must speak with Adar and make your peace before we cross over. There may be no crossing back. I've restored your forge and brought life to stone. But am I any closer to the tree? Tell me now, old one, or you may never get the chance. I hear the foundry is dangerous. As is the tree, horseman, and the entire forest. That is why you must awaken the Guardian. But have you asked yourself why you seek the tree? The tree of life is where I will find my brother's absolution. The tree of life is a gateway. From it, one may travel to places undreamed of, whether a world of oceans and forests, or ice, or endless night. The tree exists there. It may appear different, yet it is the same tree and its roots connect all the realms. The tree of life is not where journeys end, but where they begin. Worry not, Maker. Now you can find your way home. This compass guided me to many wonders. To hold it again after so long, it makes me feel a mere 500 years old. Thank you. So the time has come. 
What became of the other wardens? In my dreams, I felt many of my brothers, but only one still called Aura, a warden most ancient. So still haunts me. Tell me about the foundry. It is a holy site, where soul is fused with stone. Doesn't look so holy from here. The darkness has spared little in our realm. But the foundry is a place of magic. It is strong. And with your help, we will claim it once more. You heard the warden. It's not safe to go alone. You need my help. That's the Guardian Rider. And if you would get to the tree, we will have to wake that beast. And then what? The Guardian will do what it was meant to. Destroy the corruption blocking the tree. But it looks finished. Why does it just stand there? The body is finished, I. But as it stands, it is no more than dead stone. To give life to the stone, we must give it the essence of a maker's heart. Three of them for a beast this large. And how do we do that? These heart stones were finished, along with the Guardian, but never married to the stone. They're all in the temple. We need only look to find them. Ah, a heart stone. Within lays the soul of a great maker. Find a way to bring it down, and I'll carry it. Good threat, horseman. I'll get it. Will you want it? Let's get this back to the Guardian. Looks like we're not done yet. There's something wrong with this one. Seeing its work, Horseman. Corruption fair whips from it. 
The other two heart stones were pure. I'm wagering that their radiance will cleanse the third. Mayhaps. Khan, the greater risk is to do nothing. Hey. Tell me where to find the Guardian. Head to the plains outside the city. And hurry, Adar is waiting for you both. My help, horseman. Do your worst.
You had no choice but to destroy him, horseman. Yet if the pass to the Tree of Life is to be cleared, I have no choice but to bring him back. How many times would you have me kill him? The Guardian will be as a newborn, free of corruption. Now, stand aside. This will take more than a small effort. <laughs> You won't survive this! I am a maker! That task defines my very purpose! As the reaping of souls defines your own! There is no escaping it! Get to the tree now, horseman. Your journey is far from over. Foundry, a powerful guardian, its heart corrupted, its purpose thwarted. Only life can drive back such sorrow. Adard was lost, and darkness came upon the horsemen. Planet shorn of life. Oh, humans are weak and simple. They would not survive this resurrection, nor do they deserve it. That is not ours to judge. I do this to spare war from the Council's punishment. And what of the Nephilim? Would you save but one and not the rest? The Nephilim are a threat to the balance. If we had taken Eden, none of this would have happened. Yet you rode against us slaughtered our flesh, then bound our souls in your amulet! Who are you? I think you know. Once, you called me brother. Absalom. I have forsaken that name. Now, I am corruption. The day you raised your scythe against us, I was born, and soon I will be all. The Tree of Life has fallen to my darkness. From withered root to fruitless limb, and even death himself will not escape it! What defines a soul? Some call it the spark within that fights the darkness, that burns for life itself. But what of death, who became the Reaper on the day he slaughtered the Nephilim? He killed his brother. His comrades and Absalom. Death! 
Why do you slay your own? The Nephilim have no claim to Eden. There are realms for angels and demons. Why not for us? Eden belongs to man. It belongs to those who take it! The eons have not answered the question. <laughs> Was it worth it? Brother. That one moment. <laughs> begot corruption. And crowned him Kinslayer. <laughs> the bitter victory could not be undone. The Pale Rider. Isn't it odd that so many have come here by your hand? <sighs> and yet you so rarely visit the Dead Kingdom. I had no plan to visit this wretched place. I sought the Tree of Life. I found it. Now I'm here. <laughs> the Tree is no destination, my friend. Only a portal to other worlds. If the tree is what you seek, then you have arrived. That I have been betrayed. Mm, not so hasty. The tree is wise beyond imagining. If it brought you here, then here is where you belong. Perhaps I can help. Mm, I doubt it. You would be wise to heed me. I have a merchant's skill to grant your deepest desire. Tell me, Ryder, what do you seek? Hmm? I would redeem my brother, restore the balance. Hmm. Yes, I have heard the tale. Your brother rode though no call was given, and mankind paid the price. Guard your tongue, merchant. I give no judgment, friend. Only pass on that which I have been told. You were right to seek the tree, but it is only the gateway. What you seek is the Well of Souls. The Well of Souls can restore humanity. And more! The Well channels the dead into this kingdom from every world, above and below. It is also how souls are brought back into creation when they are ready to be reborn. You still haven't said what you are. The history of my people was burned to ash along with our world. Forgotten even by those who <laughs> destroyed them. Now, only the smoke remains. We were not the first. Nor will we be the last. It is the way of things. The way of things is balance. And what balance is life? Nothingness. <laughs> or corruption. Eventually, it consumes us all. So it would seem. None of this explains what you're doing here. I am merely a humble merchant with a taste for the finer things. In life... And in death. I am Ostagoth, and it would amuse me to offer you my wares. Tree of life, tree of death, portals to other worlds. I know none of this. How is it I have remained so blind, or does your tongue only spit lies? Much was kept from the Nephilim, and from the Four. Why? Because power must be tempered with ignorance. If the Nephilim knew the true nature of the tree, all would have perished. I forsook the Nephilim, became a warrior for the balance, even killed my own people. I protect these worlds, you and the tree, yet still I remain in the dark. Forsaken, yes. Forgotten, no. The Nephilim live on in you. But what do I know? 
I am but a simple merchant. <laughs> what if I wish to return to the Forge Lands? The Tree of Life has many portals, Ryder. Some may help you retrace your path. Many portals are closed, but the ones to the Forge Lands remains open. Hmm. Pretend that I believe you. Where should my search begin? You must scale the Serpent's Peak and summon the Eternal Throne. There the Lord of Bones slumbers. <laughs> he will guide you to the well, <laughs> or he will have your soul. Before you go, Horseman, consider this. My people may be lost, but their relics yet remain. <laughs> you may come across them in your travels. They are worthless to most, but valuable to me. Return them, and I will trade relic for coin. Chancellor send you. Well, horseman. I've beaten death once, and I can do it again. I've no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. You still reek of hope. You couldn't have made the Chancellor. The Chancellor doesn't sound like much. For ages, his tongue has dripped venom into the dead king's ears. He all but sits upon the eternal throne, demanding service. Who are you? I am the master of blades, in all that remains of the warrior once called Draven, and the kingdom of man. I should have passed through the world of souls long ago. But I won my freedom in the arena, only to fall beneath the dead king's whip. A rider? In the kingdom of the dead? No, no, this will never do. I must speak with the Lord of Bones. <laughs> oh, that is not possible. My lord attends his realm, a burden beyond even your ken, horseman. And what is your use as a doorstop? There is but one way to draw him from his slumber. The Gilded Arena. Here mortals are offered a last chance to earn freedom from the grave, a boon that includes an audience with the king. Defeat the arena's champion and return here with its skull. 
His Majesty will grant you an audience. And where is this arena? Fret not, horse. We have already arrived. Yes? Let me speak to the Lord of Bones, and I will spare your champion. And perhaps you as well, Chancellor. <laughs> you cannot slay that which is already dead. But you're welcome to try. In the arena. Forget what I said about sparing you, doorkeeper. Tell me about the King of the Dead. His reign is eternal, his word is law, and his time is invaluable. I ensure that he need only speak with those who are worthy. Then you must rarely see him, Chancellor. Oh, yes. What does Echidna have to do with your kingdom? Last I heard, she had one of her own. The Shadow Realm, Isolik, yes. Yeah where the sisters sightless spin their webs. Many of my lord's foes escaped there when his rule was still young. We hunted them down. Echidna herself barely escaped. Perhaps she took shelter here, and yet weaves her evil. Your king is not the first to rule here, is he, Chancellor? There was another. A creature called Argul, too mad to be kept upon the throne. I helped my lord be rid of him, and even destroyed a few of his servants. Tisk, tisk. What will my lord do without me? You call this the kingdom of the dead. I haven't met a corpse that hasn't tried to kill me. There are creatures in this realm that will not stop in trying. I call them. The bloodless nightmares of claw and bone that cannot be slain by common steel. There must be some way to kill them. Bloodless are vulnerable to things of this spirit. Like kills like, is that it? Yes. And as the dead king is quite fond of his bloodless, kill as many as you can. You said you fought in the arena. Did you battle its champion? Yes. And if you mean to tangle with that brute, you must be mad. I seek an audience with the King of the Dead. <laughs> As I thought, mad. Nashor will tear you to shreds. You survived the arena. Well, parts of you did. Since I faced him long ago, Nashor has grown in power, fed on the rage and flesh of those who fall before him. I fought for life, to return and lead a great army that would conquer all. But here, I serve. I, Draven, who never bowed to any man. That the dead king is something less, is no comfort. How are these bloodless formed? Souls must pass through the city of the dead before they are reborn in the well. But some escape their torments to haunt other realms. Thus do the dead walk again, and the most corrupted of them become the bloodless. Their flesh can be destroyed, but their spirits resist killing. Behold, a challenger enters the room. But what does he see? Absolution from death. No! This one yet near. Quiet! You would tell us his cause. Speak, Challenger. I'm here to defeat your champion. And so all Challengers boast. But most leave in torment. Their souls burn from existence, and our champion of all the stronger for it. Enough! Bring out your champion! 
There is power in this one. Power enough to do as he claims. But our champion is no cur to be summoned at will. You must draw him forth. This altar holds his power. The souls of all he has slain and consumed. Three animal stones must be placed therein. And our champion will arrive. I was so hoping you would not return. <sighs> what of the arena's champion, then? He won't be entertaining you any longer. No. 
Impossible. I believe your king will see me now. I cannot deny you. You stink of the living, horsemen, of souls long overdue. You are not welcome here. Pity. I was starting to enjoy the atmosphere. Then you have not been here long. Billions of souls crowd my kingdom. All of humanity wailing for vengeance. <laughs> but... I see you are already familiar with such music. What would you have of me, horseman? Show me the way to the Well of Souls. <laughs> and what do you seek there? Power over life and death? Or do you hope for absolution, Kinslayer? I wondered where the souls of your brethren had gone, for they never passed through my realm. Your realm hardly needs more subjects. True. Yet I must face this rabble without the lords who serve me. That's not my concern. Make it your concern, and I will grant your request. Find my three dead lords and wake them from their slumber. This will bend them to your will. Return the lords to me, that they might share my burden. of you, horsemen. I hear the pleas of the dead, not the damned. And what of the pleas of your lord? I serve him even now, though he would reward my efforts with eternal torment. You did leave the eternal throne. Even here there are souls lost, waiting to be judged and sent into the city of the dead. I have heard three such spirits wandering the corridors. Find them, and bring them back to me. Once I have cleansed them of their past, I will hear what troubles the Lord of Bones. Why hear the pleas of the dead? Before a soul can enter the city of the dead, its secrets must be laid bare and its life judged. It is a matter of mercy. The souls will wander, lost and blind, until then. This has been the journey so far. A grand arena gilded by blood. A giant slain, a toll paid in full. But before the king will help our rider, he must have his dead court. Judgment is at hand. Humans, always so frightened. See your life as you truly live. It is finished. Your lord summons you. I am ever his servant. You forget your station, Nephilim. You may be a horseman, but I am a lord of the dead. And your king demands an audience. This realm belongs to corruption now. None alive can stand against it. You... misjudge me. You ride without the power of the seals at your back. You would not survive even the weakest trial of the realm. I brought low the arena's champion. <laughs> that is but a game, 
Pale Rider. There are other trials meant to punish. Speak with the voice in the Gilded Arena. Ask of the Psychomeron. If you live, we will speak again. So you have returned. What is it you seek this time? I seek the Psychomeron. If such a thing were possible, it would surely be thrown down to your very soul. I have a few to spare. <laughs> Indeed. But I wonder, are they too old to burn after so many years? I hoped a champion would arise who could face the corruption. And you have come far, horseman. A pity that your journey ends here. your duty. I have no more use for you! What is this? I don't like being toyed with. They failed me. But you have earned my gratitude. I will send you to one in my kingdom who knows the way to the well of souls. But first, there are demons that you must face. I've already faced and killed many. Not like these. There is great power bound in that amulet. But your shame stays its unlocking. I regret nothing. Oh, I can see beyond your flesh to where the true battle rages. Horseman, what did you learn from the Lord of Bones? I suppose your king lives up to his name if not his bargains. The dead king has granted you passage to the city of the dead. Who must I seek in the city of the dead? You should worry more about the one who seeks you. Answer my question, Scarecrow. <laughs> There's no fun in simply telling you. Then speak no more. I'd keep watch on my own neck if I were you. What will I find in the city of the dead? Besides more corpses. Something far more precious than sinew and bone. Souls, Rider. 
from every kingdom under a dying sun. In the city, their past life is cleansed, that they may pass through the well and be reborn. Many souls do not survive this purification. Some are driven mad, and a few even manage to escape their bonds.
horseman. I believe you call. Profather. I am the one you seek. And where else would I be but the city of the dead? Would you like to ask a question? Or just stand there like you've seen a ghost? Tell me how to reach the Well of Souls. The Well of Souls is a place of unimaginable power. The key to life and death of creation itself. And that is why the well has a key of its own, one that was divided long ago. The angels keep one half, and the demons the other. And never shall the two meet, unless you truly mean to save your brother. To save war, I would storm the White City. Of that, I am more than certain. But there is no need. The angels have realms beyond the White City, as the demons do beyond their dark kingdom. All will become clear to you once you reach the tree. I've already done that, Crowfather. Nevertheless, you must find the tree again and go wherever it takes you. Absalom lives. Yes, Absalom lives on. His rage and agony spread as corruption and he will unmake all of creation to destroy the palace. I killed Absalom once, Crowfather. If I could go back, I would see him spared. I doubt he would grant you the same courtesy. How can I restore humanity? The Well of Souls is where all life begins. Where the souls of the dead are born into their new lives. I killed the beast that haunted this place. I freed the souls of humanity. And in other times, that would be enough. But something draws power from the well, leaving only void where there once was life. I fear you have only released the souls into further torment. Then there is no hope. Humanity is lost. Not so. Even now, you carry with you the power to restore the well. The Nephilim? If you sacrifice their souls, yes. They alone have the power to undo what was done. So I must sacrifice the Nephilim, my kin, to restore mankind? The Nephilim are dead, by your own hand. That broken talisman is all that remains. Would you leave them to eternal torment in that cage upon your chest? Not so fast, horseman. You are following me. So I am. I will remain here, at the tree, should you have need of me on your quest. Ho <laughs> ho And Dust has a beak for more than corpses, horsemen. Follow him, and you will find the key. Follow Dust, find the key? Can't be that easy, Crowfather. You may be right, Death. The future is a secret even I cannot keep. I don't recognize this place. Where have you taken me? This place is called Lost Light. It is an outpost, far beyond the gates of heaven. And it is here that the angels have hidden the key to the Well of Souls. Why here? Why not the White City? There are some amongst the angels who would use the key for their own purpose. So it was hidden here to safeguard it from their schemes. Or so they hoped. The well has power over all life. It does. Though I suspect there is more to your question. Go on, Ryder. Ask it. The four never knew of the well. Why was it kept from us? For fear of what you may have done with that knowledge. The Nephilim could not be allowed to ravage creation any longer. They needed to stay dead. Then the well can bring them back. And so we get to the root of it. Yes, the well is the font of all life. Angel, demon, mankind, even Nephilim. But from their blades they wrought chaos. And from that was born corruption. You were right to destroy them.
Abaddon's eye. It is. To me, quickly. Welcome to Lost Light Rider. From one warrior to another. Do I know you? I am Nathaniel. I fought beside you at the Gates of Eden. Would have died were it not for your blades. But I'm not troubled that you don't recall me. Your thoughts that day were on killing Nephilim. You are of the Hell God. I was. But I guard the Light now. And the Archon. You'll find both in the Crystal Spire. But something tells me you are not here to glory in my master's radiance. What gave that away? The Archon's that way, Horseman. Perhaps I have other business. If that business takes you to the Kingdom of the Dead, you would serve the Light to deliver this scroll. What business have you in that land of corpses? I seek an old friend. A lost soul. Where better to look? Take that scroll to the undead court, that they may answer my question. I'm looking for a key. I would guess that what you seek is no simple key. For that, you should consult the Archon. He sees much from the peak of his spire. How did you come to leave the Hellguard? Abaddon sent me here to watch over the Crystal Spire and the Archon. There is much at stake should the Spire fall. What is this place? An outpost. We call it Lost Light, for what we left behind in the White City. Here, we are closer to darkness. And who is this Archon? Lucian is the head of the Scriptorium. Those angels record all that he sees when he peers into the shadow. The Ivory Citadel holds their records, an archive vast beyond thinking. Where is this Citadel? Lost beyond the mists. Pray your business never sends you there. Out of the shadows and into the light. I see you, horsemen. The things you have done. The lives you have ended. I know why you are here. Then you will give me the key. I have guarded the key for centuries. It is mine, and I will not part with it lightly. Not now. Corruption spreads. In our city. In our hearts. Only I remain pure. A beacon against the darkness. Helpless to push it back. We are not all helpless, Archon. Huh. Perhaps not. After the seals were broken, and Hell's legions loosed upon the Earth, many divine relics were lost. One, the Rod of Arafel, could help reverse what has happened here. I dare not retrieve the Rod myself. The gates to the White City are closed to any angel who visits Earth. But you... are no angel. Acquire the Rod. And I will clear a path into my citadel. There you will find the key to the Tree of Life. As for what you will find on Earth, after you face it, even you may curse the name of war.
should kill you for what your brother did here. But you saved my life. Consider us even. What do you know about the Rod of Arafel? A weapon of immense power, brought to Earth by the Archon Hestus to battle the demons in the End War. But Hestus fell, and the Rod was shattered. And now the Destroyer uses its pieces to fuel his army of darkness. What was broken can be reformed. Where are the pieces of the Rod? In the hands of the Destroyer. He has summoned creatures from the Abyss, and drawn forth his chosen. Things of blasphemy, who even now divide this world into their own hellish domains. The Suffering are one such beast. They feed upon the dead of this world, and twist them into a swarm of flesh and bone that fight as one mind. It was they who attacked us moments ago. One mind? Easily sundered. I will not risk more Helgard to recapture the Rod of Arafel. But, should you wish to undertake this fool's errand, then follow the trail of corpses left by my brethren. A fool's errand? Well, it would not be my first. So that it is not your last, take this. Uh, thanks for the warning. How many angels died here, Yoru? Too many. But for every dead angel, there is another, kept alive against his will. Their suffering empowers the Destroyer. Perhaps you could release them from their torment, Pale Rider. If you wish. However, all I can offer the captives is a swift end. That is blessing enough. Why are the Hell Guards still on Earth? You lost your ill, in case you haven't noticed. Where else would we go? All of creation saw what happened here. How the Hellguard marched before the seals were broken. The White City is closed to us. We can never go home. What are these chosen? They don't look like demons. No, they are something far more ancient. Drawn from the heart of the Abyss. The most powerful serve the Destroyer and rule in his name over Ash and Bo. The rest kill everything around them. It is a wonder you've lasted this long. Even the dead march against you. You speak of the swarm, of all the creatures that roam the wastes. They most hunger for revenge. Not even death can stop them. So far, a thousand souls wailing for vengeance. A mighty battle. An old friend returns. The way to the well is yet closed to you, Ryder, but there are keys for every door. I have found a piece of the rod. Be wary. There are things that lurk beyond these barricades that the Hellguard dare not face head on. And the remaining rod pieces, do they lie past the barricades? Yes. Pass through the city, and you will find the next piece beneath the earth, in an old abandoned tunnel. Where will I find the final fragment? I do not know. But the rod has a will of its own. Find the second piece, and it may tell me where the last resides. You have found the second piece. I can feel its power within you. The rod wills itself whole. You may be deaf to its cries, but I am not. The final piece lies beyond this barrier, in an area heavily fortified by the Shadow. The Destroyer will not be pleased when I restore the Rod of Arafel. The warriors may pay the price. The White City is lost to us. This broken world will soon be our grave. And yet we must fight on against the darkness, to uphold the light. If your actions hasten our end, so be it. May you live to see the Destroyer take his last breath. You're ill of the Hellguard. Good luck, Ryder. The final piece is the winning cross. The Rod of Arafel has been made whole. But I fear the Destroyer would capture it. I would stand with you, Yoril. My brother's fate takes me on another path. You have proven yourself honorable, a virtue little known with your kind. But if I ever see him, war must answer for his crimes. He could not have brought this upon the Earth. And I will see my brother spared. Do what you will, Ryder. But this world is lost. 
and that cannot be undone. It's finished. I know, horseman. If there are more angels who are suffering, they are beyond us both. Take this. Heaven rewards those who serve justice. And what of the Hell God, Uriel? Every blade down, eventually. That's what I'm counting on. The demons will suffer all the more when we force the blade home. Be careful what you wish for, Archon. You just might get it. The Rod of Arafel. I have been waiting so long. It feels every bit as powerful as I imagined. Then you should have no problem clearing a path into your city. A path? No. I will clear the entire realm. I will burn away the shadows with holy light! If you are to reach the Citadel, you will need wings. Seek out the scribe, most ancient. He still wanders the ruins. He can help you end your quest. Death is near! Face me, Reaper!
abandoned his senses and took up his sword. It happened to the Archon. It happened to me. The Archon. It was that damn pool. They're useless forbidden for a reason. Whatever vision he saw within rent his mind. The corruption spread from him. He made this city a slaughterhouse while professing his own purity. Eventually, the Archon fled to the Crystal Spire. Yakon called you Scribe. I am Jamera. Once I was Chief Scrivener, here in the Ivory Citadel. I recorded things past, things present, and the ever-changing future. For mine is the second sight. To see through the eyes of others, it is a gift few angels tolerate. Even the Hell God have their secrets. The Archon wished to learn them, but he saw too much. How could the Archon be corrupted? Something dark took root inside of him. Used him as a puppet to spread black hate. Perhaps it says much, but we could not tell the difference. Corruption did all this? No, there was a battle. I can still see it. The Archon fought off waves of the corrupted. His blow shattered the city. Pray you fare better than stone if he is in your future. No! <laughs> the key, Archon. I know you have it. It is mine! Even though he wanted me to, I couldn't destroy the key. Surely you understand, Horseman! I did what I had to do! Opened the well. <laughs> Protected the key. From the questions they asked. And from you. Only I may bear the key! Oh! <laughs> 
Task nears its end. I can open the way, Death. But you must find the other key. The demon key? Yes. Tread lightly. There is not that way but shadow. Welcome to Shadow's Edge, Horseman. Now, go as the crow flies. Or your brother is lost. This place looks familiar. As well it should. This is the dark reflection of the Crystal Spire. A realm where demons, rather than angels, keep watch. But corruption turned their gaze inward. And what they saw there... destroyed them. What of the key? It remains within. Bound by a powerful master. Welcome to the Dark Kingdom, Horseman. If you're following me... <laughs> Nothing of the sort. I've come to part demons from their coins, and you from their souls. Are we so different? <laughs> I'm looking for a key. But of course... Samael keeps many wonders in the vaults beneath the Black Stone. I have come to trade for what few he would part with. But I fear not all is well in the Red Court. Samael would never let his realm slide so far into nothingness. Beware of what you find on Samael's throne, and whom. Rumors are all that escape the vortex of a mad queen Lilith, who still clings to rule. Lilith? 
Why am I not surprised? Samael was there when I fought the Nephilim. No doubt watching, with great interest. That demon Samael plays a game of his own devising. And we are his pawns. I've heard of this place. The Black Stone. Yes, the throne of Samael. The Blood Prince. The Red Wanderer. He has many names, yet one home. Not much left. <sighs> Corruption devours the Black Stone. As it has countless worlds, as it will the Forge Lands, the Undead Plains, even Earth. That is corruption. What does it seek? The end of existence itself. And in its place, nothingness. And how do we fight that? We don't. Your precious weapons only serves to stay its hand. But what do I know? I am but a simple merchant. Thanks for the warning. You can come out now, Lilith. Hmm. Do you blame me for hiding? You are death. Where you ride, no one is safe. Not even your mother. You are not my mother. Did I not create Absalom from the mingled dust of angel and demon? And from that first Nephilim, were not the rest formed? They were brothers to the horsemen. Yet when the riders slaughtered the Nephilim, only you showed remorse. Why did you not cast the amulet into the abyss, as the Council ordered? Why spare their souls? If not to one day undo your sin. My sin? This corruption was born in Absalom. It rises from him like a black tide, and you, mother, must help me stop it. Where is the demon key? In Samael's keeping. But he is gone now, and the key has vanished. Oh, don't worry, my child. Like sin may be undone. With this, you can return to the past, to Samael's stronghold before his fall, and find the demon king. I only ask that when you reach the Well of Souls, you will answer your heart and resurrect the Nephilim. still haven't told me where to find the key. I share Samael's bed, not his secrets. If you want the key, you must speak with him yourself. I don't believe Samael simply vanished. Death, my love. You know so little about the infernal realms. There is a new order coming. Built upon the fall of man, every demon vies for power. If Samael is missing, he is not. What brings you to Samael's kingdom? I am drawn to raw power. And no demon in any realm can match that of Samael. He could have ruled over us all, but now he is gone. And that destiny once again falls to my children. Bring back the Nephilim, and all of creation will be yours. But at what cost? Council 
sends only one horseman, even to the past. No, this visit is unsanctioned. In fact, no one knows you're here. Not a soul. Hand over the key, it can be our little secret. you're playing, Lilith, it doesn't matter now. I have the key to the Well of Souls. Then redemption lies within your grasp. And the choice is yours. Will you save one brother? Or will you save them all? I have the key, Crowfather. Then at last you may enter the Well of Souls. But once undertaken, there is no returning on this path. I've come this far, Crowfather. I'm not turning back. Then be warned, Rider of Death. A dark presence guards the well, and the seeds of corruption writhe within. The well is corrupted. Yes, but not the nameless kind you have faced thus far. No. Corruption has chosen a champion, a voice to sound its clarion call. Then I will see this finished, here and now. 
Remember what you have learned, Ryder. Corruption is the end of all things. Even death. Tree, the keys, the well. Why do I get the sense you are testing me? You test yourself, old friend. For what you've done. For what you had to do. And now you face the ultimate test. Will you bring death? Or give life? Have you ever wondered, Death, why you are untouched, while those around you wither and rot in the grip of corruption? Could it be that you are already blackened by the sin of betrayal? How can you defeat that which seethes in your own heart? You cannot stop me without forever damning your soul!
my hand once more, brother. Absalom stops the corruption. I stand at last at the well of souls. We've no idea what I must do next. It is quite simple, and yet most difficult. I'm in no humor for riddles, Crowfather. You may tap the power of the well to return the kingdom of man, or you may resurrect the Nephilim. But know that choosing one will forever doom the other. Oh. My brother War. I would protect him above all. To return man to the earth will require a sacrifice. of humanity will be sown. But death's journey was not ended. On the shattered earth, his brother War had slain the Destroyer. You will be hunted. The White City for certain. The Council, and there will be others. You would wage this war alone? No. Not alone. War had broken the Seventh Seal, summoning the Horsemen of the Apocalypse. And the number of the Riders shall ever be four. You are alone, Lilith. Where are my Nephilim? My prince, I... The end war is upon us. Yet instead of the army you promised me, death has returned man to the balance. I await your punishment. This time, Lilith, you will get no pleasure from it. 